When I was a little kid, a teacher in the primary school used to ask us to form a straight line in the morning assembly. I always wondered how these godly creatures called humans could fit themselves in a perfect line. One day, it occurred to me that why can't we fit a line to everything in the world, just like us little godly creatures in the assembly. This divine idea triggered a dream that one day I'll become a machine learning researcher and answer this question. While this story is obviously true, let's move forward in time, 20 years later. When I was a sophomore at Carnegie Mellon, two really good things happened. One, my GPA reached its global minima, so it was a wake-up call. Two, I took this mini course called text processing, which I did not anticipate to be as useful as it turned out to be. This was the first time I heard the term classifier. I was simply wowed when I created my first overfitted naive-based model of classifying names to genders. It would predict female for any name that ended in an A, and male otherwise. Anyways, Following this course, for some reason, for every single hackathon, I ended up making something that kind of needed a classifier, be it finding healthy recipes on the web or mapping attacks on education in the conflict zones. Punchline being that text processing picked my interest. And no, it was not because of my childhood fantasies. As a consequence, the biggest thing that happened was that I secured an internship at QCRI, primarily based off my tiny mining experience. This internship, on summarizing the perception of Qatar on Twitter, introduced me to social computing. I learned a lot, quite literally. A year later, I had two poster publications of that project. In fact, Wildcats are still working towards building deeper analysis of our project. But of course, I wasn't naive enough to limit myself to naive base. So I took courses in machine learning, deep learning, and did a senior thesis as well. My experience with research and hackathons got me the research scholar position at LTI, where I now work on different aspects of voice forensics. While I wouldn't tell you anything about what I'm doing so that you don't steal my ideas, I can tell you this. I like working on stuff that matters or has potential to have high impact. And my hackathon and research experience shows that. And now, because you want me to show you that I can converse in English, here I am. Finally, the big question as to why I want to attend Masters in LTI program. Uh, there are two main reasons to it and one of them I mentioned in my personal statement as well, which, which is that I want to build a good theoretical background, uh, knowledge before I do my PhD. Uh, and I can do that by taking different courses and getting exposed to different research that faculty at LTI are doing. Um, and the second main reason is so that I can prove myself, basically. Uh, improve my QPA uh, and apply to a good PhD program later, which to be honest is a bit hard to get into right now. Um, but anyways, uh, I wish you all the best of luck for the hard decisions that you have to make today. Um, and yes, goodbye.